Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video I'm going to show you a couple of different use cases for the CMS in Wix Studio. So in my Wix Studio site, there's a section called CMS, it's a content management system, and it, what it does is it allows you to create dynamic pages and uh, content. So there's a couple of preset options in here that Wix Studio gives you. They give you team members, projects, portfolio, news, and then there's a custom one and you can customize these or add them to your site. But I want to give a couple of other use cases that you could use this for. And so for example on this website, the services section, this is actually using um, the CMS, CMS function in, in the Wix Studio site. So these services is one of this collection. And so it's just like a spreadsheet style of the service. You have your title, you have your subtitle, your price, your description, your image, and the order that I want it to show up in. And so I can choose which data shows up here on the home page, and I can choose what shows up on the other page. So for example, this text right here is connected to a piece of data. And on my data set, it's connected to this title text. Same with these other fields. This one's the subtitle, price, description, and then this button is all the same. It's not connected to data, but it is connected to a click action. Um, so when you click the button, then it is connected to the service. Oh, sorry, this one actually goes to the, the bookings page. I apologize, but I could connect this to the services page. And I'll actually show you an example of that now. So if I go to the services all, and here, this will populate with the data in just a second, then this learn more button is connected to a click action and so if I look at what is connected to it takes me to this this full service page and so again if I jump over to that service page this will also populate so each of these pages is pulling in data dynamically from that one CMS section so you can see I was able to create a section on the home page that was unique there's also a services page that has all the different services listed and then there's individual services page and it's all leveraging this one CMS collection right here called services. And so there's only a few fields in here but with a couple of fields I'm able to create single pages that have descriptions, prices that look really great. I can also preview these and see what the other ones look like. So here's another one. And then, like I said, I've got the whole services page listed here where they all also show up dynamically. And then that section on the home page, what it actually does is it takes you into book an appointment. So you click this button and it books an appointment. The really nice thing about this is if I ever need to change the price on this service or the title or the description, I do it one time in here in the CMS and it does it in all those places, it'll update it automatically. So if I change this field, it'll change it in all those, all those places at once. So that's the other great thing about it is it just really streamlines the, the changes and you only have to design something once and then it, it dynamically populates. So your services section could be another way to use Wix CMS. Another one is um, the testimonials. So the testimonials here, there's a lot of testimonials that, that these guys have. And so um, you'll see in the collections for testimonials, there's 38 items. So to go out and build that 38 times would just take a really long time. But because it's built out here, it's just in a spreadsheet style. And anytime there's a new testimonial, you just add a new item and you're able to add it right in and it has all the same fields and everything. Again, here, this is a section on the home page, but there's also a testimonials page that has all the testimonials um, listed out. And so you can kind of see them here. And then this book now takes you to a booking an appointment. And on this, in this particular case, I didn't choose to build out a single testimonial page for each one. I thought that would be too many pages, but you could, you could have also done that there. Okay, and then another use case you might have is this article section. So over here on the featured articles, there's a section that is CMS down here that's health coaching around the web. So this is a collection of articles that we're curating for 
uh, health coaching that we're finding on other websites. And you can see that there's quite a few in here now. And so this is also managed by the CMS. So these uh, health coaching articles, there's only a few fields. You have the article title, the source, and the URL. But every time a new article is added, it automatically creates this new, uh, new box here with the title, the source, and the link dynamically. And so anytime we update this, in the, in the CMS section, this updates automatically. So there's a lot of ways you can use the CMS to save time, and I promise you that it will save you a ton of time. And now that I've been using it in all these different areas, I keep finding other areas that I wanna use the Wix CMS because it just makes everything so much easier to update and to main, maintain and to design because you only have to do it one time and then updates are super easy and when you add new items, everything just populates dynamically and it works really well. So there are those presets, like I said, that you can choose from. You can create a custom one um, and then once you create your data set, you can connect it to the different, like you can connect these elements to the different content in your data set. And I have another video about that on the YouTube channel, but how to connect these things and set it all up but there's tons of ways you can use this and another thing about the Wix CMS uh, that I'm, I'm not really covering in this video but these services are using the Wix CMS with the repeater so if we pull up in this layer then we have our services our service list and these are actually a repeater so that whenever a new item is added it just to the CMS it actually adds another item dynamically same with these coaches the coaches are also a repeater section in here. And so anytime a new coach is added, this just populates automatically with a new, like the same look and feel. So it's got the image, the name, and everything. Um, so again, it's making it super easy to update these fields, especially where there's lots of content here, um, to update it, maintain it. And if we ever need to take a coach down, I just go into the CMS and I would click on that specific one and I can make it visible or hidden. I can hide select items, so I can show selected items and right away automatically all those pages that, that this data is connected to would hide or show or populate or change. So it's a really powerful feature and the more that I use it, I'm finding more ways that I can in integrate it into any website because it's just an awesome way to manage manage your your content. So. Hope that's helpful to give you a couple of other ideas on how you can use the Wix CMS for other sections too, just typical sections you'd find on your website. And be creative with it. Think of other ways that you could, you could use it because it really does save you a lot of time. So that's what I have to share today and I will see you in the next video.